guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is jessica and i created dolled up by jay so in today's video i have a request so today one of my subscribers requested that i review my gucci ophidia travel duffel because she said she was trying to decide between this and the louis vuitton keep all which is actually my dilemma when i went to get this tote so i was like yeah you know what that's a great idea i'll definitely add it to my list of things to review on my channel and so i promptly sat down and wanted to make this review for her and anyone else interested in getting this tote so basically i'm gonna i'm gonna talk you guys through like the price and everything and the materials and then some comparisons between this and the louis vuitton on key ball which is extremely popular and then tell you guys um what i think between the two so so this tote basically is wax canvas so if you are going to get any water on this it's just going to roll right off so wax canvas is essentially a wax canvas material so these are not leather so these are a fabric material and then the um the handles and all of these details are leather and so there is the gucci marmont logo i'm not a super huge fan of the gucci marmont as you guys know from some of my other videos but i do like the old school kind of retro monogram look for gucci i think it's actually really cool and unique and i definitely think it's timeless and i'm all about like the timeless vibes so that was another reason why i got this tote and also my boyfriend wanted to match with me he has a black gucci tote i almost got the same one as him i like the black and he's like well that's a men's and i was like i don't care i like the black but then um we would have like mixed them up all the time so i got this one and it's really really big and the handles are really sturdy one thing i don't like about a bag such as like the louis vuitton neverfull is that the handles are so thin even though they're strong you feel like they're gonna just snap under too much weight but this is definitely like very sturdy and burly and it's like attached nicely and now the inside of the tote show you guys or the duffel it's very large inside it has like this shaping piece on the bottom that does come out if you want it to so the bag is a little softer i personally like to keep the shaping piece in there and then there is a compartment um for random other things i've got a mask in here i've got a c school license and then a piece of coral which i probably I'm not allowed to steal from the Maldives, but I did. And then I also have, there's also these little card compartments here if you want to just pop a credit card in for travel, whatever. Uh, and then another feature that this bag does have is it comes with this really cute gold lock. So if you are ever going to be like checking your duffel for whatever reason, although I don't know why you would check like a designer duffel like this, if you wanted to check it in baggage um you could use this just to like lock the zippers and then it has this little travel luggage stamp which i haven't uh, put anything in there's a little travel tag here and there is a plastic covering on it but it doesn't have anywhere to write so you have to like put in your own paper which is kind of annoying uh, and then there are little keys that i've put on the other side here and it just opens and there's like little cute gold keys in there for the lock now this bag we got this in canada uh i will run through i believe it was about like 2800 dollars before taxes and the louis vuitton key ball is similar to that now i don't find this bag to be too crazy heavy like it's definitely sturdy because it's a travel duffel but it honestly fits like so much I do like the key balls from Louis Vuitton. I like the Damier print, although they were sold out of most of them when I went to look in the store. And then they only had like the men's ones and they were trying really hard to sell me on the men's ones, but I didn't like the men's black Damier as much as like the Gucci men's. And I was just like, ah, you know what? Like, I'm not gonna like chase a thing unless it's meant to be. I like the antique gold finishes on the hardware here. And then it also has little grooves on the bottom so if you are going to stand it on the ground it kind of like protects the edges just a little bit from that kind of thing and then it also has this strap here which is totally adjustable so often i'll just like throw this over my shoulder quickly if i'm in between like the airport and stuff and i have found this to be honestly like the perfect duffel i don't need to carry anything else beyond like one small purse on me just put my passport and stuff in and my phone because i always like to have a little purse on me for the airport and stuff perfect like weekend takeaway bag it's really great like that and i know that the louis vuitton heat ball often is sold out as well and one thing that i don't love 
about Louis Vuitton is that the handles, I know it's part of the process as they age with the oils of your skin. So just think about that. If you are looking into getting a monogram Louis Vuitton keep all with the original monogram print, that's going to have the lighter leather trimming it. And it's going to eventually age and darken a bit with the oils of your hands. And those can also get water spots as well because they are untreated leather. So that was another reason that I really like this is because it's already all been completely treated and any sort of change in color over time isn't going to be as significant as would the key ball in like the monogram um and I also just think this is just really cute and it just literally matches everything and it's just nice and I like the retro vibes a lot and I'm definitely a fan so yeah that was my quick review of this travel duffel i hope it was helpful to anyone interested in getting it or comparing that between that and the louis vuitton key ball again this bag is called the gucci ophidia and thank you guys so much for watching if you did find this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you back here all right guys thank you so much for watching